What is going on Babylonians? It's me, Songs of Rays, back with another Outrides video to bring to you, and today we're going to be looking at the buff that Quartermaster, the th tier 3 mod for fixing wave, has received, and we're also going to be updating our RPG build, uh, just because it actually plays a really good role with the RPG. Uh, it used to be a case that RPG, you had to, you, you couldn't really refill the ammo, you had to rely on other skills until it came really, like it came back, um, and now with Quartermaster being fixed, uh, or actually, you know, being buffed to the point of instead of being a 45 second to a 1 second cooldown, down, we're now able to refill our RPG consistently to be able to deal a lot of damage. Now that this means that we can actually use our tools of destruction all the way through a single expedition without ever having to chuck our RPG away, and uh, that is absolutely god tier. Uh, I would say that this build does fall a little bit short in terms of power out or damage output compared to like a firepower technomancer, but it's definitely up there and definitely being one of the better kind of builds that you can actually run. So I'm going to bring to you an updated version for it, allowing fixing wave and quartermaster. Um, <laughs> you're going to see for yourself in the gameplay in the background, so let's get right into it. Alright, so let's take a look into what makes this RPG build so good. Now, um, obviously in the past we did have a bombing run build which was made up of the, uh, the pain launcher, of the RPG, and of scrapnels, and we were purely abusing the torrential downpour because the Grim Inventor set was just not up to scratch. It, was, it definitely didn't feel like a legendary gear set, uh, and the bonus that you got from it just didn't really help out. Uh, everything was geared towards pain launcher, and pain launcher just didn't really help you out with it because it, it does a lot of like damage, but... It's, it's, it's over a large area, so it was when it came to single targets or just finishing off an enemy by itself, it didn't do a very good job of it. Plus, on the side of that, it, it just was very kind of difficult to be able to aim. Uh, but now we're actually using it to be able to do a carpet bomb. We're using it because we want to be able to spread out the damage. We want to be able to fill out our magazine as much as possible because every single hit on the Grim Inventors is now going to give us 20% of our magazine back. So... What's going to change from that build? Well, we're no longer using Scrapnel. Uh, the Scrapnel was uh, just purely another skill that was just for explosions, uh, and it was a really good DPS kind of like burst just to be able to take down elites. It was very, very good at taking down Broodmothers, for example. Uh, but we're no longer using that. We're purely going for the RPG, and we're using that as our main weapon, and that is what we're setting on. Uh, so how we're doing that is we're using uh, Pain Launcher, tied that in with the Grim Inventor set to be able to consistently refill our ammunition so that we only ever have to use the RPG once. Uh, and then on top of that we're using Fixing Wave because Quartermaster has now changed down to a one second cooldown and that means we're able to refill our magazine every single time healing uh, Fixing Wave is back off cooldown uh, and that's just a really nice light boost of 11 rockets that we're going to be adding to our 12. Now what's important when it comes to this build is to make sure that you are managing your ammo efficiently. And what I mean by that is you can you can plow away at rockets as much as physically possible. You can do that as much as you want, but make sure that you never fire that last rocket off. Now, it's not the end of the world if you do, uh, because the cooldown on tools of destruction is around about 20 seconds if I remember right, 20, 23. Um, so it's not gonna like it's not gonna cost you run it's not gonna do anything like that it just it just means your main damage dealer is pretty much gone uh, for around about 20 seconds so but we because of the way we, we're using our pain launch to be able to fill up and the way we're using our fixing wave to be able to fill up um, we've got two skills that are purely designed to be able to make sure our RPG doesn't get to zero so feel free to spam those as much as possible but I would recommend that you get yourself down to about one rocket realize that you're at one rocket activate one of your skills then fire away, get yourself down to one rocket, activate the other skill, and just alternate back and forth. Now obviously Fixing Wave can be used as a panic button to be able to uh, give yourself a bunch of health, so if, if the skill's life leech isn't doing enough for you, make sure you do use that. It's definitely there to be able to help save your life as well. So let's have a quick look into the build, let's, let's see how I've kind of like ran this, uh, and we can break it down and obviously we'll leave the gameplay that's up in the background. So when it comes to the weapons, I've used a Damascus Offering, now this is my standard for my any kind of uh, anomaly power builds so this comes with claymore torrent and ultimate storm whip that's just purely my way of being able to deal some damage to a uh, single target as well as uh, kind of ad clearing uh, mobs anything like that so this is my most efficient way uh, but if you have anything that you would like to suggest or if you've got any any other kind of ways that you make sure you run that that's absolutely fine it's not going to affect the build whatsoever uh, I, on my offhand I do have a death shield with fortress and it does have ultimate storm whip as well but fortress is uh, is there in case I do fancy like having my fortress up for like the uh, the first 10 seconds of me using my RPG so after that, it's not really going to give us any any uh, kind of bonuses whatsoever. We're not going to be getting any more resistance or defense or any extra damage. Uh, so you don't need Fortress, but if you do fancy proccing Fortress, it will help you out for that first little bit as well. Um, 
moving on from the from the guns because they are kind of negligible. It's not like we're really going to be using those. I will remind you again that obviously because of the transmog update, uh, I have the look that's going to be showing on the cards is not going to be relevant of that of. Uh, the, the, the items themselves or anything like that. So just pay attention to the name that's at the top, but I will go through that as well. So we've gone for a Cranium of a Lost Creature because Anomaly Power, Cooldown Reduction, and Skills Life Leech are the god rolls that we want for our build. Uh, so just make sure you try and grab at least three of those items. Now the reason why I say three is because the uh, the last two, I've gone for the Grim Inventor set for the gloves and for the boots, and these obviously don't roll with Anomaly Power. Uh, they, do, they roll with max health. So feel free to mix it up if you want to feel free to uh like add in another three pieces to be able to get, get yourself up to that anomaly power across the whole board and put the uh, the grim inventors across the first three uh, so the helmet the chest and the, the the legs but this is how i've run it this is how i found the most success so you, you you do how you would like to but this is how i'm running so we've gone for power assimilation and quartermaster on the mods now power assimilation obviously gives us the nice boost every single time an elite spawns onto the battlefield uh, and quartermaster gives us uh, obviously our magazine back every single time we use fixing wave and you'll notice that's gone down from 45 seconds to one second which is really how this build is actually able to be feasible um, in terms of the chest this isn't perfect there's no way shape or form the only reason i got this is one because it was in the shop two it had the mod that i wanted uh, and three, I didn't have anything else to be able to use. Uh, but you would like to be able to get anomaly power, cooldown, and skills life leech on that. Preferably with one uh, with uh, bang for your buck on there as well. So that means you get a 100% uh, base ammo to your rocket launcher. And then on top of that, I've then put the tier three mod off Rocket Man, so we can fire an additional three rockets. If we go from there to the legs, I've gone for this is the first of the Grim Inventors. So I've gone for. Uh, Obviously, anomaly power skills, life leech, cooldown cool reduction. Gone for demolition man, so uh, every single rocket deals another two hundred ten thousand and three damage, uh, just as additional. And then portable armory, which is in standard on there, can fire one additional rocket. Uh, when we go to the gloves, obviously grim inventors again. Uh, I've changed the tier three to unstoppable force on this because I wanted a little bit of extra anomaly power just to be able to make my our damage do a little bit more. Uh, you can swap that out if you want to, um, but I, I, I felt like I was lacking a little bit in anomaly power, so this was just a nice little boost that I wanted, especially from the skill tree that we're using. Uh, and then obviously advanced rockets where every single rocket deals an additional 26,000 damage. And then lastly, we've gone for the boots, which just rounds off the three piece, so obviously we can get our refills on our pain launcher. Uh, but I've gone for Captain Hunter, which increases our damage to elites by 25%, and Rain of Pain, which decreases the skills cooldown of pain launcher by 34%, which means that we're able to consistently uh, refill our magazine a lot quicker. Uh, and then obviously, we can choose to use it as like a DPS option as well. Uh, but, and it means that the cooldown isn't going to cost us anything in the long run. So just to briefly touch on the skills, we've gone for Fixing Wave, Tool of Destruction and Pain Launcher. Uh, obviously Fixing Wave and Pain Launcher are our main ways to be able to replenish our ammo. So that's nice and simple, we've already covered that so we'll just move on quite swiftly. And in terms of, of the uh, the skill tree, we've gone for primarily Bottom Tree, uh, but we have also gone into the middle a little bit. One for health, but two to be able to get the, uh, the cooldown reductions for Fixing Wave to be able to make it a little bit more manageable, a little bit more feasible, and that's quite Quite nice because that knocks off a few seconds that uh, otherwise you wouldn't have had a skill available uh, and it really does make sense with the uh, with the fact how fast you can fire off the RPGs now in terms of the uh, the skill tree we've gone for resistance piercing we've gone for anomaly power we've gone for as much of that as possible we've gone for the, uh, the ability to be able to get extra armor while we're using certain skills and we've also gone for the increased anomaly power when we've activated certain skills as well so Overall, very good. Uh, I'm very happy with the skill tree. I don't think there is much room to be able to change on that. I, I did spend a few minutes being able to go through this one, uh, and I do think that's the best way to be able to run any kind of RPG class that you're going for. So I'm going to let the rest of the clip play out just to be able to show off some gameplay, just to be able to show off uh, how I found and how I was uh, I was just about easily able to dispatch everything that came at me on a CT15, uh, and it really is such a good build. Uh, I would recommend this for solo play. I think this is probably one of the quick and best ways to be able to uh, survive in solo. Uh, uh, normally I would recommend Minigun just because of the pure survivability that Minigun actually does offer but uh, because this gives you maneuverability as well as the power as well as the staying power and all that kind of thing I would recommend this RPG build over any of the Miniguns so far. Anyways feel free to pick this up, have a blast with it, yes that's right pun intended, and just uh, 
just have a, have a bit of an experiment. This is a different way to be able to play a Technomancer, and this really does show that an Omni Power build still can thrive, uh, obviously following the Fortress change. And uh, yeah, this is. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed. Just make, feel free if you do pick this up, if you do give it a go, let me know your experience down in the comments section below. Let me know if there's any other changes that you've actually managed to do, because I know a few other people have been doing some RPG builds as well. So if you have any other suggestions as to how you would have changed this, make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. And let's uh, let's find the best RPG way, the, the, the best way to be able to run this uh, and just have fun with it overall. Uh, as always, make sure you have liked and subscribed the video if you did enjoy. Uh, as always, we're going to say thank you so much to the members of the Babylonian family. Uh, you will see their names pop up at the end of the video, but so very, very shortly. Uh, and it literally is just as little as just clicking that join button down right next to the subscribe button, and it starts from 99p a month, and it just lets us know that uh, you're interested in the content, it's something you want us to be able to expand upon, and it really just, uh, every single bit of money that we get from that goes straight back into the channel for like competitions and all that. So it really does mean the world to us that all the people that are currently supporting us, and if anyone, any of you are now encouraged to be able to do so, then we will greatly appreciate it and obviously do just come over and say hi in the discord it gives you an extra couple of perks over there as well uh so that pretty much leaves me to say thank you so much keep yourself safe keep yourself well and i'll see you all on that next video